Alright, so before we start this video, let me just say that I don't want any arguing in the comments, because I know how controversial Fortnite is. Try to keep it as civil as possible down there, alright? Let's get into the video. Fortnite. There's no doubt that you've heard of it. Fortnite has been everywhere in the past four years. Take it from someone who has been there since the beginning. I've seen everything, all the ups and downs. So, let's start from the beginning. It all starts with Epic Games, who before making Fortnite were known for their game Unreal Tournament, a first-person shooter developed by Epic Games, obviously. Of course, most people think Epic Games is a game company developed in more recent times but Epic Games has actually been around since 1991, which means that Epic Games is 30 years old. Unreal Tournament was a hit game for was a hit game for its great graphics, which do not hold up these days by comparison. Now, I'm talking a lot about Unreal Tournament, but it doesn't really hold much relevance to this topic. I just wanted to tell you about Epic's older popular games. Let's just start talking about Fortnite now. Fortnite was announced in 2011 as a PvE game which stands for Player vs. Entities, and was released on July 25th, 2017. The only notable YouTuber that I know who played this game at the time was Muzilk, who is, you probably know for his Fortnite videos or his older TF2 videos. Fortnite would not see much success for their PvE mode, so two months later, they released Fortnite Battle Royale, the game I'm all sure y'all know. The main inspiration for Fortnite Battle Royale was PUBG, otherwise known as Player Unknown Battlegrounds, which uses Unreal Engine, which you would know is developed by Epic Games. From this point, we all know what happened. Big streamers and YouTubers started playing the game. Updates were being pushed every week and or month. You may be wondering, what could possibly ruin such a great game? Well, it all lays down on one factor. of Fortnite is widely considered to be the biggest factor in the downfall of Fortnite, mainly the quote-unquote toxic nine-year-olds as they were referred to by the internet. For those who do not know what toxic means in this scenario, basically a toxic person is someone who will absolutely cuss you out if you so much as breathe in the wrong direction. Alright, that was a bit of an exaggeration, but nonetheless they are considered people you do not want to be around. Another big factor in the downfall of Fortnite would be repetitiveness. As time went on, updates came out less and less frequently, which would drive the community to stop playing Fortnite and start playing other games. One of which was Realm Royale, which has a lot to unpack on its own, so if y'all want a video on Realm Royale, make sure to tell me in the comments. And Anyways, we have one last factor to Fortnite's downfall, crossovers. Now I'm gonna have to say that the community is very divided on crossovers, although it wasn't always this way. A long time ago, crossovers were welcomed, until Epic started adding crossovers to the battle, battle Pass, which wasn't too light. But the real division happened in Season 4, Chapter 2, because that season was themed entirely on Marvel. People who liked Marvel were excited, but people who did not like Marvel hated this season. But like I said, it's more of an opinion on the last one. Fortnite is in an ever-declining state. Alright y'all, thank you so much for watching this video. I put a lot of effort in into it. I wrote an entire script, I bought an entirely new microphone, I even got Filmora Tip Pro, which cost $40 so I can get that stupid watermark. Uh, and the editing here was my best yet. Absolutely love this video. Uh, thank y'all for watching it all the way. Hope it wasn't too short for y'all. Uh, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Peace.